Hebrews chapter 6. Let me rephrase that. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 10. Verse 10. Hebrews chapter 10. Verse number 32. Hebrews chapter 10. Verse number 32. And the following verses to deal with what I'm about to talk about this morning. It's just so good to see everybody. Brothers, my deacons, amen. We give honor to my deacons, brothers, amen. all of you. It's just a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. We honor to we do give honor to the first lady who is not here today. But we thank God that we are all here amen. one more time. Amen. amen. Hebrews chapter 10. The writer. <laughs> is encouraging the believers to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Wait, wait. The writer is reminding <coughs> the believers who are being persecuted simply because they believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah. They, they have been, been, been struggling Amen. trying to keep the law and trying to trust in Jesus Amen. for salvation. The so Paul, the writer, that many have said in Hebrews was written by Paul, many theologians have been trying to explain it and give uh, credit uh -huh. to Paul, whoever wrote Hebrew, but we know that anything written in the Bible is good for us. Amen. Amen. Because it's the Word of God. Amen. Is that right? That's right. Hebrews is a reminder that Jesus is greater than the law. Amen. And he's also greater. Amen. Amen. Than our problems. Yes, he is. Jesus Hebrews remind us that Jesus is the high priest. Amen. And by our sin nature and condition, that we can go boldly to the throne Amen. and talk to Amen. Jesus ourselves. Amen. We no longer need the priest. Amen. To Amen. Stand for us concerning our sin nature. Amen. But the Bible said we go boldly, boldly. to the throne. Yes, sir. Because he is our high priest. Yeah, yeah. Is that right? That's right. The, the writer is really telling us that, that, that if we got Jesus, we got everything we yes, need. Yes, yes. He says, he, he even says in Hebrew that we have somebody that knows our hurts and pain. And the things we go through, he's, not, he's familiar with what we, what we are going through. He, he, he knows our pains and struggles and heartache. Amen. And so the writer reminds us that we can rest in Jesus. Come on, somebody. Not only we can rest in Jesus, but we have peace in Jesus. Come on, somebody. He said he's, he's the high priest. Amen. 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 He, he's the high priest. He, he, he's the one that took our sins. He's the one that took our sin nature to the cross. And he's the one that sacrificed because of the love he has for us. He sacrificed and went to the cross Amen. that we might have eternal life. Amen. Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. Y'all following me here? Yes, sir. And so Jesus is our He's our rest. Amen. He's our peace. We don't have to, amen, work for our salvation. We don't have to send up no temper. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For our, to tell. 
It's already been taken care of, been paid for. Come on, somebody. The writer tells us that we ought to rest in our salvation. Can I get a witness here? It even tells us in my study that we should have no conscience of sin because sin has already been dealt with. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Somebody ought to praise it right there. Can I get a witness? So in Hebrews 10, he's talking about Christ is the perfect sacrifice. The perfect sacrifice. And the writer also reminds the church, saints, that we as believers ought to hold fast to our faith. Encourage us that even in the times of the COVID and all the stuff, that we are faced with today, we got to continue to hold firm to our faith. Amen. 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 Faith is what we need. Amen. Faith can bring us through. Faith can cause us to have joy. Come on, somebody. Amen. Faith can cause us to praise Him. Faith can cause us to look beyond our faults. Faith can cause us to move mountains. Faith can cause us to be healed. Faith can cause us to be delivered. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Faith is the subject of things over and the evidence of things not seen. I don't see how I'm going to make it, but my faith says I can make it. Can I get a witness here? Amen. So the writer, I'm getting, I'm getting somewhere because I want to encourage the saint. Because we're living in some time now that we need to be encouraged. Yes, sir. We need to be lifted up. Yes, sir. Am I right? right. And it's easy, y'all, to be discouraged yes, when you're listening to much radio and TV. Yeah. It's easy to be discouraged. Can I get a witness here? Right. When things are happening in our world and it seems like the world is having no fun, then we are. But I'm going to tell y'all, playtime is almost on. Look at your neighbor and say, the good time is almost over. Come on, somebody. He said, no, tell them, no, build her up. I'm coming back. Can I get a witness here? I don't know about you, my brother, so that every person in here, you ought to be ready. Can I get a witness here? And when I mean ready, I'm talking about you ought to get your life in order, in perspective, because you never know when you're going to leave this place. You never know when it may be your last time. But the question is, are you ready? Are you prepared? That's right. Are y'all with me? Amen. Preach. We have lost a lot of people, y'all. Yes, sir. And we are still here. Amen. By the grace of God. It ain't because you've been good. It ain't because you've been all of that and a bag of chips. It's because God has been taking care of some of us. Amen. And we've been through some sickness. We've been through some heartache. And I get a witness here. So look at somebody and say, hold on to your faith. Hold on to your faith. In verse 32, with me now, it's going to be a minute now. Bitch, it's still a minute. Amen. It, it, it's, it's telling in verse 32. It, it, it says, this is a call to remember the former days. Call to remember the former days. The former days. What are the former days? The former days that he was talking about, but what the days, amen, when they didn't have a firm relationship with God, but yet still he took care of them anyhow. Somebody said former days. Former days. We can look back, y'all, sometime, but we not to look, keep looking back. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're driving a car, mm -hmm. you got a mirror up there. Is that right? Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah, yeah. A rear view mirror. A rear view mirror. And if you keep on looking at that rear view mirror, amen, yeah. and not looking forward, and you just keep looking at that rear view mirror, you're going to have some problems. Amen. <laughs> They put the rear view mirror, the rear view member, uh, mirror in the car that every now and then you can look up and see where you come from. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Every now and then you ought to look back and see where God has brought you from. How he has brought you from. How he has kept you down through the years. Amen. Amen. But that big wide window in the front, 
a witness here. But you can't look back all the time. Is that right? Paul said it like this. I'm forgetting about the things that are behind me. But I'm looking forward. I'm moving on. Look at some neighbor and say, it's time to move on. It's time to move on. To big and better things. A better life. A better attitude. Can all y'all go here? I'm saying all this because I just got two points in this thing. <laughs> a call to remember the former days. And I would like to look at, and I can start here. A call to remember the former days, he says, in which after you was illuminated, somebody said illuminated. Illuminated. You know, in other words, what the writer said, let me explain it to you. Illuminated means something has come alive. You've been illuminated. Something has changed. Can I get a witness in? Somebody said illumination. Illumination. Let me tell you, illumination is, is like a transform. I mean, you, you, you transform from one state to another. Come on, come on, somebody. I've been illuminated. And my eyes have been opened. And can I get a witness here? The light has come on. Somebody said the light has come on. Love was talking about this morning. Amen. You know, down through the years, amen, he, he didn't see the light. Amen. All of a sudden, that the illumination come. Amen. His eyes begin to be open, and he began to see. Amen. How he's been wrong, and, and how. Amen. How things have happened. And I come out and tell you, my brothers, when God touched your mind, Amen. When He touched your mind, can I wait a minute? And you've been illuminated. That something's gonna change in your life. Look at your neighbor. I've been changed, honey. Illumination. You were you endured a great fact of affliction, part of which you were made a gazing stop, both by reproach and afflictions, and part of which you became companions of them that was you. Verse 14. For you had compassion for me in my bond, Paul says, and took joyful the spoiling of your goods. God my Lord, it's just good to bless somebody in this moment. Knowing in yourself that you have in heaven, it is a better and a enduring substance. Somebody said better place. Better place. That ought to be our ought to go today. We ought to become better than we was last year. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Better Christian, better husband, better wife. Am I right? Better Christians, am I right? It's always room for improvement. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Somebody said better. better. Yeah, we ought to be better than we was last year. You know, we might not what we be all, but we ought to be. But thank God, we're not what we used to be. Amen. I get your name and say, I'm a lot better. I'm a lot better. Than I once was. Amen. Amen. Somebody ought to praise God right now. Amen. Amen. Cast not away thy for thy confidence. And that's my word. Cast not therefore your confidence. Somebody say confidence. confidence. That which has great recompense of the reward. Amen. For you have need of one number one patience. That after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. But yet a little while, and he that shall come will come. Jesus is coming. And will not tear. Now the just shall live by faith. But any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Amen. Verse 39. But we are not of them who draw back in the ditch, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. I want to talk about just for about 15 minutes. Don't, don't throw away your confidence. Wow. Right now. Yeah. Look at somebody and say, don't, don't. don't. Throw, throw away, away. Your, confidence. your confidence. If you throw away your confidence, mm -hmm. come on somebody. Because we all need confidence. If we don't have 
confidence in nobody but ourselves. Amen. Is that right? That's right, right? Don't leave home without confidence because you need your confidence. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Don't, don't, don't throw away your confidence. Let me tell you what the confidence means. Confidence is a treasure of extraordinary fact. Somebody said treasure. Confidence is a treasure of extraordinary fact. You must have it. Life cannot be lived well without it. Amen. Oh, somebody. Amen. So what is what what is what is it? What is it? What's what is that? Confidence. Listen to this. Listen to this. Confidence is the belief or feeling that you can rely on someone or something. Amen. It is a feeling of certainty about the truth of something. Amen. Did y'all get that? Yeah. It's a feeling, it's, it is a feeling sure, somebody says sure, sure, of yourself and your ability. I like what Paul said like this, I can do all things. I can do all things. Through Christ who strengthened me. Amen. The ability. Uh -huh. It is, my brother and sister, yeah, we need to think of it. It's, 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 really, it's really talking about trust. Amen. Trust in God. Trust. When you have confidence in your boss, mm -hmm. when you have confidence in your pastor, mm -hmm. or you can even have confidence in certain people, that you work with. Mm -hmm. It means that you trust it. Amen. You can trust everybody. Right. Can I get a witness? Right. You can't trust everybody. Yeah. That's right. And you can't put all your confidence in everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. I believe if you read over there in Psalm 139, it talks about, it's over in there. Don't put your trust. You might well go on turn there. Don't put your trust in prisons. Oh, y'all hear me? Y'all need to go on turn over there. Don't, because some of us put too much confidence in folks and people. Isn't that right? And if you're not careful, Amen. Amen. I, 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 you, you, you can be discouraged yeah. about what's going on. Amen. Is that right? right. So, so your own Bible said, don't put your confidence in business. Is that right? Mm -hmm. You got that, brother? You got that? Did anybody get it? Yeah, yeah one son, one third of that. Amen. I just want to make sure I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I need somebody. Just tell us. Just tell us. I'll read that button right quick. Amen. There, yeah, there, yeah, there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, come on. Yeah, tell us. Tell us. <laughs> Oh, we put too much. Watch this. It's first verse. Yes. 139. 139. Oh, oh. Thou hast searched me. Listen. And known me. Uh huh. Thou knowest my damn sitting and my upright. Uh huh. Thou understandest my soul apart. Did I give you the wrong one? I think so. I think so. Matter of fact, I know so. When I heard of that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong one. That's my fault, Sister Catalog. Amen. Amen. I, I, I put the wrong one there. Amen. It, it ought to be 146. That's what it ought to be. Amen. I'm sorry. Amen. 146. Do it again one more time. Amen. 146. That is. Come on. Wait a minute. Listen to what she said now. What you said? Okay. Praise the Lord on my soul. Mm -hmm. While I live, will I praise the Lord? Listen. I will sing praise unto my God. Listen. Why, why put it? not your trust in princes. Hold up right there. Hold up right there. Put not your trust. Listen. Put not your trust. Will y'all repeat that? Put not, put not your trust. trust.
about these politicians. They're talking about that man lying, whatever his name. They listen, they've been lying from the beginning. They don't live a lie. They don't say it. Look, don't get all upset by folks. Did y'all see that in the Bible? Don't put your confidence in Christ. Don't put your in the Son of Man. Who is the Son of Man? We are the Son of Man. Amen. Because you have no Him. Right. Are y'all with me? Right. See, you can put so much confidence in people. When you go through something, amen, you'll find out, amen, right. who's on your side. Right. When you start getting sick, you get in trouble. Can I get a witness here? But I have it, and I'm going home. The Bible says this one, Psalm 121. Then I look to the hills which come in my help. All of my help comes from the Lord. Can I get a witness here? Don't y'all put your own confidence in Pastor Reed. Don't you put it. Are y'all here with me? Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Uh, then the Bible says there's no help. Look, read verse 4. So it's got all. He what? His. Uh huh. He returned to his earth. Listen. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Mm -hmm. It's over. You done put all your confidence mm -hmm. in somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And now they're gone. <laughs> You've been trying to please people and trying to do. They people don't care nothing about. Hey, hey, listen, listen. You need to put your confidence in God. Right. We need to put our confidence in God. Now, can I get a witness in? Amen. 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 And so, 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 so that lets us know we can't put our confidence. Amen. Amen. In man. But we can put it in God. Is, is that right? Let, let's, look at, let's look at something. Go back to Hebrews. And I'm about to watch this. Listen. Don't throw away your confidence. Amen. How can we keep our confidence? Here it is. I'm going on. Look at Hebrews <coughs> chapter 12. Wherefore, if you there, verse 1, wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great cloud of wind. This year you ought to lay something aside. Amen. You ought to lay aside every weight. Somebody got some weight on you. Amen. You've been burdened by stuff. Amen. You've been, come on, burdened about stuff. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. And you can't get no joy. It's because Amen. you're worried about what the doctor said. You don't put so much confidence in the, in the doctors and the left. All of that's good. Can I get a witness here? But we can't put all our confidence in doctors. And we can't put all our confidence in coming. Can I get a witness here? Amen. And I believe that's the reason our, our believers today we are so discouraged. is because we're so caught up in what man is doing that we forget about our focus and what God is doing. Amen. God can give us help Amen. if we just believe. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Look, look at the text. It says we, we need to lace out every weight. That's a weight that holds us, the weight can cause us, y'all, not to have the joy and the Amen. peace that we need. And the sins which do easily beset us. That's right. Whatever the secret sins are that nobody know about. Amen. But you and God. Amen. You need to take care of that. That's right. Is that right? That's right. If, if you, I said you, you need it, not your neighbor. It's you need to take care of whatever secret sins God know about it, but you need to tell God about it, and that's for repentance. Can I get a witness here? Let, let us, because just is to weigh you down. It's easy to set us and let us run. Oh, I'm going to say another night. I'm running for Jesus a long time and it ain't got time yet. Mama says she's running for Jesus, meaning she's going to keep running, amen, and see what the end's going to be. Can I get a witness in? Let us run with what? Patience. That the race that 
that is set before us. Here it is, and we're going to sit down. Looking unto Jesus. Yeah, I don't care. It's talking about, Mama, don't look at nobody else. That's right. Quit looking at everybody else. And, Amen. And if you just look to Jesus. All right. You just look to Jesus. Uh -huh. Gaze your eyes on Jesus. Amen. I remember when I first met First Lady, amen, amen. I couldn't take my eyes off of her. I was gazing at her. I said, whoa, I sure would like to know her. <laughs> amen. I just kept on gazing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I just kept on gazing. Amen. You look long enough. Can I get a witness here? If you look long enough, you see what you're looking for. Can I get all y'all know? Mama, can you know what I'm talking about? Can I get a witness here? Amen. Watch how you look too long in my life. Somebody looking in the wrong place. Amen. Somebody looking at the wrong people and looking at the wrong thing. Can all y'all know here? I say, we need all y'all know. And I kept gazing and I gazing and I kept looking and I kept looking. I kept seeking and I kept seeking until I got it. That's the way we have to do Jesus. We got to look to him. Not the political system. We got to look to him. Not the president. We got to look to him. Not the pastor. We got to look to him. Not your name. We got to look to him. Somebody said, who are you looking at? We're looking at everybody else and look, at, look to Jesus. Am I right? Keep your eye on Jesus if you going to have confidence, you got to look to Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Who is for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. He endured the cross. It's because he loved us. Can I get a witness here? So it is my brothers and sisters not, amen, allow Satan to take away our confidence. Yes. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Paul tells us, my brothers and sisters, we ought to keep our faith yes. and trust in God. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Amen. So as I go to my seat, my brothers and sisters, I just want to challenge you this morning to keep your eye on Jesus. Wow. Keep your focus. Amen. Get a little closer to the Lord. Can I get a witness here? I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but it's time for us to keep our focus. Amen. To see what God is going to do this year. Is that right? Amen. It's because, my brothers and sisters, when I think about Hebrews, I think about all of those people who have gone on before us. Are y'all hearing me? But they kept on. They kept on. They didn't stop. Yes, sir. But they kept on. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. What did they kept on doing? They just kept on believing God. Yeah. When you look over there in Hebrews chapter 11, you will see, amen, you will see those who had faith in God. Yeah. And these are they, my brothers and sisters, going through the same thing you and I are going through right now. Right. But what did they do? They kept on. Believe it. They kept on trusting. They kept on obeying God. And I come by to tell you, my brothers, says, we got to keep on keeping on. Yeah. Am I right? right? So when I look at Hebrews chapter 11, and I see those who had went through terrible times, how they stayed and believed God's promises. How they trusted God when they didn't see how they was going to make it. How they believed God when they didn't see that was going to be no way, but yet they believed. Can I get a witness here? Amen. All my brothers and sisters, when I look at that, I said, I talked to you about it right now here in verse number 7. Amen, 37 in Hebrews chapter 11. It talks about verse 16. It talks about the ones that did not receive the promise, but they just kept on believing. The Bible says they were stoned. Somebody said stoned. They were stoned, but yet still they kept on believing. They, they was they they was tempted yes, sir. like we are today, but they kept on believing. Amen. They were slain with the sword, but they kept on believing. Amen. They wandered about in the sheepskin and coat skin, but they kept on believing. Amen. They were being destitute and affliction, but they kept on believing. They were tormented. But they kept on believing. Yeah. Amen. They was wandering in the desert, but they kept on believing. Yeah. They they was in dens and caves. Somebody all said, 
kept on believing. They didn't stop, but they just kept on trusting God. Can I get a witness here? And I come by to tell you, my brother and sister, we got to keep on keeping up. Look at your name and say, not, not they, but you. You got to keep on keeping up. Can I get a witness here? It is, my brothers and sisters, that we ought to praise God right now. Can I get a witness here? They were rejected, but they kept on. Come on. They kept on believing. They kept on trusting. Can I get a witness here? And if I'm a witness this morning, my brothers and sisters, the Bible says we should not shirk back. We should not shirk back. You can't. It's too late, y'all. God's been too good for us to turn back now. Amen. How many know he brought you a mighty long way? Amen. How many know he brought you out of the house to the end now? It's not time to look back. It's time to move on. Can I get a witness here? God been too good to me. Somebody asked me the other day, said, Pastor, amen, what did you do back in the day? I said, I parted her. Amen. I parted her. But I can't look back. I'm not going back to the party. I'm not going back to the things I used to do. Can I get a witness here? All things have become new. I'm a new person. I'm a new creature. And everybody in here, if you've been changed, if God changed your life, if he did something in your life, if he touched your mind, if he turned you around, you ought to praise God because it wasn't your goodness. It wasn't your... Can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness here? And I come by to tell you, he me, can I go on? Can I go on on the runway now? I've been on the runway. When I think about Jesus, as I get ready to go on the runway to take this flight, when I think about Jesus, when he came to redeem us from the curse, sin, and the law. I think about his sacrifice. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. I think about how he loved us so much Amen. that he came to give us eternal life. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Amen. But he did not stop loving us Amen. because of us, but he loved us in spite of us. Right. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. And I come out and tell you, my brothers and sisters, we ought to thank Jesus. But he kept on coming. In spite of our dark and evil world, he kept on coming. Can I get a witness here? Can I fly now? Can I fly now? Well, how did he do it? He came down on this dusty road of this earth. Can I get a witness here? And he, my brothers and sisters, come down here to redeem us from the curse of sin. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. I'm glad, my brothers and sisters, that he did it because he loved me. Yes, Is that right? Yes, he did not stop, but he come on anyhow. Yes, but he did not stop because he know he needed to save us. Yes, Can I get a witness here? Yes, and I'm glad this morning that God is a good God. He looked beyond my fault and saw my need. Uh, is that all right? Uh, everybody in here uh, ought to have a testimony uh, on how God's been good to you. Uh, is that all right? Uh, but he did not stop uh, the cause of the rejection. Uh, and I just said it like this. Uh, who's going to believe uh, of this report? Uh, Yeah. <laughs> 
verse 12, that you be not slow. In other words, don't be lazy. It's time to work now. You've been sitting here 40 years. It's time to move on. Can I get a witness in? It's time to do new things, y'all. Can I get a witness in? You can't keep talking about what we did 100 years ago. You can't keep talking about what, what, what you know we used to do this and we used to do that. That's used to. You, can I get a witness here? But you need to forget about your used to and forget about your now. Because God is doing a new thing in your... Can I get a witness here? Are y'all ready? Amen. And he says that ye be not so folk, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Don't throw away your cup because number one, you'll lose your reward. Amen. I said number one, you'll lose your reward. How many want to go to hell? Amen. You got to keep on keeping them. Amen. You can't, can I get a witness here? Amen. You got to keep your confidence in God. Amen. Amen. That's what we used to say.